Hey guys, this is Rishikesh Kaula and welcome back to Anna Abdur S4 Hana video. So today's topic is how to create a variant. Like, okay, I'll explain it in detail. Before that, yes, uh, anyone wants personal or industrial training, so you can contact me for the same. And now we'll begin with the topic, which is creation of uh, creation of variant. Okay. so like i'm i'll just go to mb51 transaction variant is like for any report we can create a variant personalized variant for myself like what details i want in the report that choosing again and again is of no means so suppose i'm just uh, getting a report with some date interval okay i'll execute it so um, okay something with date just a minute okay so this is one date and this is another date i think it should work now yeah so we got this report i'll just uh, convert into detail list okay so now we have few columns okay and these are not sufficient or and i want some more columns here so i need to go into more current display variant i need to go here and now i need to select what uh, fields i want what columns i want so i want material description i want material movement type text so then i want document date then i want company code and what else i want i want more few things we'll check for something if we can get from here so vendor suppose i want vendor okay these are the fields but these fields are like i'll just save the variant okay now these fields i can add it now suppose i'll just show you once okay so i got all the fields here that is right but when i go back i go back and i go back and I, again i come to my same transaction i enter the same dates okay and i execute it see what is happening is like i'm not getting the same columns again so there are two things first thing is like we need to create a variant i'll just go in current display so i'll just add like material description whatever we want to add we can add from this side that will come into our report so these are few things i'll add few more so that we'll be able to see many things there okay so we ha we have added almost four fields after this we need to save the variant okay i'll just go on save and i'll enter anything like test test 1 okay then description test 1 okay and it's a user specific means for my user uh, the login id or the user id what i have entered while logging into the system is it user specific yes it is user specific only for me then is it default yes i want to make it default like every time when i come to the screen i want these many fields coming there okay so i'll just adopt it and i'll just see on okay so we got all the fields here right so default means now when i'm going back slash n initial screen and i'm entering mb51 coming again and getting the posting date here okay and executing it so i will be getting all the fields again okay so every time because it is default and user specific for my user and every time i come to this screen i am going to get all these columns so the you you save your time selecting uh, field columns every time and you get the exact report what you want and one more thing you can do is like current display you can go again there and you can rearrange these fields like suppose uh, this is where, where is material description material description so it should be after the material so you can add it after the material so this is movement type and suppose we have movement type text so it should be after that right 
so we can just click on it and drag it upward okay i'm dragging it upward okay so this is the way now you will be able to see it side by side material material description movement movement type so you have this feature like to get the fields like how you want to arrange it and you can as i've shown you you can get this into the excel sheet uh, in the same format so that would help you in all the ways okay fine uh, and yeah don't forget to uh, subscribe our channel we have many more sap quora uh, sap s for hana videos so our channel sapquora.com please subscribe the same thank you